In this video, we are going to learn about the dicot root. In dicot root, there are three types of tissue. First one is epidermis, second one is ground tissue, and third one is vascular tissue. How many tissues? Epidermis, ground tissue, vascular tissue. Okay. Now let's see about epidermis. Now here you can see a picture here. The outermost layer is called epidermis. The outermost layer is called epidermis. This layer is otherwise called as rhizodermal layer or epidermis or filiparous or epidermis. So there are different names to be called for this layer. Rhizoderma, epidermis, filiparous and epidermis. Now look at the layer. It is made up of parenchyma cells. So made up of parenchyma cells. Now cuticle stomata is absent. So cuticle is a thin layer normally found lining to the epidermis, but in dicot root it is absent. So you must think over it. Cuticle and the small minute pore stomata are completely absent. Now there are some unicellular root has. Unicellular root has are present. So cuticle stomata is absent. Instead, we, we have root has. Now, what is the function of this one? Helps in absorption of water and minerals. So the, that's all about epidermis. So once again, see it is made up of parenchymatous cells. Here, cuticle stomata are absent. Unicellular root has are present, and the root has helps in absorption of water and minerals. Epidermis is otherwise called rhizoderma, epidermis, filiparous or epidermis. Clear now? Now second tissue, we will go on to the ground tissue. Ground tissue. Now the ground tissue, there it is differentiated into different layers. The first one, the broad section is called the cortical region. Cortical region. So look at the diagram here. The next the dark green lying the maybe from the light green area to the, the innermost circular area. We, up to that we call cortex. So look at the uh, shape of the cells. It is thin wall cells. So parenchyma. So, go, so you can say parent ground tissue is made up of parenchyma cells. So in between the cells you find spaces. So you can add a note like parenchyma cells with intercellular space. What is the function of that? Stores food and water. Stores food and water. So it is clear now. Ground tissue, the cortical cells of the ground tissue is made up of parenchyma cells with intercellular spaces. The function of cortical cells is stores food and water. The next to cortex is the endodermis. Endodermis. So you look at the picture. Endodermis is the innermost layer of the cortex. The cortex is a, the longest layer and the innermost layer of the cortex is the endodermis. Now look at the shape of the cells of the endodermis. It is barrel shaped. Look at the shape. Barrel shaped and very closely packed. We learned in cortical cells they are they have intercellular spaces whereas in endodermis it is closely packed because of the fibrin band thickening those thickening called endodermis so few endodermal cells they have a particular thickening thickened area called casparian strips so those thickened fibrin band strips is called casparian strips so in the endodermal layer few cells of the endodermis have fibrin band thickening. Those cells, particularly those cells are called Casparian strips. Now what is the function of endodermis? It helps in the movement of water and dissolves salts from cortex to xylem. So from the cortex to xylem. So water absorbed by the root hair gets helped by the endodermal cells to be moved from to towards xylem. So now, now the next layer is pericycle. Now look at the, peri the picture. Next to endodermis lies the pericycle. 
the brown layer next to the endodermis is the pericycle so you can say that's one point only what is it inner to end endodermis pericycle lies inner to endodermis now what is the function roots it originate the roots lateral roots what's the function of pericycle it originate the lateral roots now the fourth one is pith but in a dicot root pith is absent there is no region called the pith but this young root has pith young root so the picture what i have viewed here is a young root so it has a pith but in mature plant the roots of the mature plant has no pith so normally we say pith is absent in older root young root has pith understand so ground tissue is worn what is the ground tissue first one yet a cortical layer endodermal layer pericycle layer fourth one is pith is it clear okay now we shall learn about the vascular bundle in dicot root in dicot root the vascular bundle bundle is exarch and tetrarch now look at the innermost region just lining the pericycle is the vascular bundle you find the reddish brown the structures called xylem vessels and alternatively with the phloem you find xylem and phloem in different radii xylem and phloem in different radii such type of bundle we call it as exarch so when xylem and phloem are found in different radii it is called exarch now look at the xylem vessels there are four arc four in four arc they arrange as four arc so we call it as tetrarch we give a term for that tetrarch so vascular bundle in dicot root is exarch and tetrarch now in between the xylem and phloem it there is another tissue called conjunctive tissue which is made up of parenchymal matrix cells parenchymal matrix cells so in vascular bundle it is exarch and tetrarch and it is made up of parenchymal matrix conjunctive tissue is it clear guys okay 